Hey everybody and welcome to my very first YouTube live stream. I'm super excited to be here and hopefully technically this is working and you can see me and you can <laughs> hear me and um, yep, oh, looks like it is live. So I'm super excited and I have to give a big, huge thank you to Jen from Jen Loves Reviews. So if you don't know about her channel, although I'm sure you do, um, you gotta go check her out. She helped me figure out how to do this. It's, it's kind of complex to set up on your computer. Anyway, uh, today I wanted to go ahead and talk, hey Jen, I see a comment. Yay, it's working. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go through this ginormous bag of empties that I have. And I even have another little bag of them because it's been a long time since I've done empties. And we'll go ahead and go through them. So, uh, hey Brenda. Oh good, you can hear me? Oh good, it's all working. I got a mic. I got a mic finally, you guys. So hopefully this sounds good. Um, all right, so why don't we go ahead and get started. And then if you guys have any questions about anything I'm showing, just ask away. And um, we'll start with, I actually did a video about this. This is the Skin Medica TNS Recovery Serum. And I really love this stuff. It's really expensive, but I buy it from Complete Skin Care online and it's cheaper and it is real. Um, but it actually has like kind of like a growth type of a, um, oh, hey, Serena, the makeup mom. I was looking at your stuff on Instagram yesterday. Um, and I really do like this. I put it on underneath my, um, my prescription retinol and stuff. So this is um, a good one. And uh, yeah, I haven't done empties in forever, <laughs> so we'll go through. I'm so excited to be here. I'm just gonna adjust real quickly on my computer because I think I'm missing, oh, hey, Andrea. Cool, okay, now I can see all the comments. All right, just getting used to how the whole setup works. Jen is the pro who's been doing this forever. She looks so seamless when she does it. Um, Bioderma, Sensi Bio, Micellar Water. Um, I'm not as huge of a fan of, I mean, I, I really like this, but I use it more for kind of residue stuff. Now I've been using cleansing oils more than this now, but um, this was a little sample I got in my lucky bag like eons ago, but I do like it. It works great kind of as a toner for me. Do you guys use this stuff? Doesn't even have this. Hey, Kristen, so excited to have you guys on my first live stream. You guys, this is it. You guys are the, the, the OGs, right? <laughs> so a little Bioderma dude. Um, then some hair stuff. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Moroccan oil, so I buy these big ones. This is extra volume shampoo. Um, I don't think that I would say this gives tons of volume, but I do like it. I alternate it with this and the moisturizing one. So you like your Bioderma a lot? Yeah. I, I like it like kind of after, now I'm using a cleansing oil first because I felt like I was tugging on my skin a lot with the Bioderma when I was just using that. So I do the cleansing oil first, then I'll use that for if there's anything kind of left. Um, but this is my favorite shampoo, this one in this volumizing and in the, um, not smoothing, moisture rich. There might be one of those in there. Um, let's see here. Let's find something makeup related. Okay. I got this, um, this is Kaylin and this is a total fail. I mean, it's a neat concept. You've got your little, um, eyebrow brush here. This is supposed to be like a little eyebrow. Um, oh wow. Wait, it fell out. It, it actually hardened into a hockey puck and like fell out after like less than a year. So I would not recommend this. It's called the Kaylin, uh, line fix eyebrow and it worked well, but I think the Anastasia, um, brow, um, not brow is the dip brow is way better than this. This was kind of too hard and it was seriously a hockey puck. It was kind of funny. I mean, this is hard little thing. So there's that one. Do you guys have any new favorites or anything that you've been using lately? Or I haven't, I'm trying to think I've tried anything lately. Yeah, you don't like the Kaylin either. Yeah, that was really, I think, I th a couple things. Yeah, the packaging was really pretty. You're absolutely right. Oh, you guys, have you guys tried Derma E yet? This is their microdermabrasion scrub. I'm sure that, hi Sherry, thanks for joining. Um, I'm sure that Jen, you got this at a Jen Beauty, um, but this stuff is awesome and it's really finely ground, but it really like buffs everything off. So this by Derma E, I absolutely love. Yeah, the packaging was cute. Just the product didn't work that well, I don't think. Let me see, let me dig down here a little bit more. Let's find something. Oh, this I'm gonna give away. It's the, I know Jen, you didn't like this one either. <laughs> this was the uh, Super BB Insta Ready by Physicians Formula. And the whole point of it was like, you were supposed to be able to have all three colors and like do your highlight and your contour and everything all at once. But I don't know, it, it, it just kind of wore right away. I mean, I mean, it worked in that it actually, you know, 
it does that, but then the minute you buffed it, it was like just gone. So I think, Jen, you had this on one of your favorites and fails, your top 10 likes and dislikes of the month, right? I think that was the one. Let's see. Oh, you got it in a birch box or boxy charm? Yeah. Oh, here's a big bioderma, but we already talked about a little diet bioderma. Got it. You know, it's like all the big stuff is on top. Okay. Bye bye pores. I got this in my lucky bag last year. And this is what's left of it. <laughs> Have you guys tried this? Oh, hey, Lisa. Thanks for joining. Um, I thought this was okay. Um, I liked it. I mean, it mattified, but it wasn't like life changing. Um, so I have other powders so I, that I like probably a little bit better. So I'm not going to buy it again, but I liked having it. So did you use this today? Yeah. Um, I have now, I think I have the unpressed version of it. And I think I like that one a little bit better than this one. But this is nice but just not hugely thrilled. But I used it all up, so that's good. Okay, here's like the mate to my Moroccan oil. Oh, this is the moisture repair um, conditioner that I love. Um, I don't know, kind of, you know, you don't run out of things equally. Oh, but this is interesting. My daughter is in love with this stuff. This is Biolage Matrix. This is the um, recover conditioner and it's all organic. Isn't this, you like the loose more too? Oh good, then I'm not the one going crazy. Oh, and you didn't like it that much either? Kristen. Okay. That's good to know that I'm like, just not the only one being like crazy picky or something. Um, but this stuff, you guys, doesn't look like a juice bottle. Um, and so this is like all organic, 95% uh, natural origin, no silicones, no parabens. And my daughter really likes it and it smells pretty good too. So she was whipping through these for a while, but they're a little expensive. So, um, I just had tried these out. They're called raw, real authentic, wholesome. So healthy hair stuff. Um, let's see. Oh, you guys, I have to order some more of these. I'm down to my last couple like that I took out of here. These are the little DHC little Q-tips um, that, you know, are pre-dipped in some oil so you can kind of get any makeup issues out from under your eyes or wherever you make a mistake without leaving you oily. I love, love, love these. These are fantastic. It was like $6.99, I think, for 50 of them. I did a whole video on these. I like them so much. Oh, the press version seems more dry. Yeah, actually, you're right. I totally agree. I didn't think of it that way. All right, let's dig down here. Oh, okay. How about this? Have you guys tried this? It's Charity Pot from, um, this is from, uh, the, from Lush. That's it. We got this in some Christmassy thing and I liked it. it. Made my skin super smooth, but I think it's crazy expensive because this is how big it is. I mean, this is it. This is full sized. So while I liked this, it was very expensive for what it is. Are you the only person? So Shannon says, am I the only person too lazy to even tip a bottle? My shampoo conditioner must have a pump or they just sit there so sad or true. Oh, that's funny. They do sell that one that I just showed though. Now with a pump, they have a bigger version. They didn't have it at first. They just had a little one. So that's good. Um, let's see these, um, anywhere Biolage is sold, I think has these now. I got these kind of early on cause my hair, my, my friend, my friend is a hairstylist. And so I got this kind of, I think earlier when it first came out through her. Um, but I think anywhere that sells Biolage would have these. So if you're into that whole, um, oh, and there's two versions. There's one that's kind of a light yellowy color. And then there's that pink one. Yeah. Lush does have good stuff, but it's so expensive. Um, oh, and then this is a candle nut body cream from Juara. Um, that was really nice too, but again, not life changing. So I, I don't know what I got this in. I think I got this in one of my lifestyle boxes or something. I don't know. It's probably in a video somewhere <laughs> when I'm like, Oh, look at this. Okay. Let me dig down here for some makeup stuff. Obviously I don't go through makeup as fast as, um, all the skincare stuff, but, Oh, interesting. I don't know why this is in here. <laughs> oh, have you guys tried these, the Spongel sponges, you guys? Um, they are fantastic and oh, they smell so good. And they have, they're pre-infused with um, like shower gel and stuff. And then this side is kind of scrubby, buffy. And then this side is more of a soft sponge. And it's fantastic. Like if you've got leftover self-tanner or your skin's really dry, this these are wonderful. And they say they last for 30 washes, but I think that they last way longer. So these are really good. And sometimes they'll go on um, sale. Like you'll, you'll see them either on their site or maybe FabFitFun or something will have them on sale. So these are really great. And I got my husband the back scrubber kind. You know, it's like a big, giant, long loofah thing. And it was pre-infused and he actually loved that. I got him that as, you know, a little stocking stuffer or something. Um, 
Okay. Oh, okay. I can't find this. This was a Lime Crime lipstick, but it was so dry to put on. It was like this light pink color. Um, oh, Southern Mill, you like the, you like the uh, sponge gel sponge too? Yeah, right? So good. Um, oh, bye, Kristen. Enjoy the game. Thank you for coming by. Thank you. So, Mel, yeah, this one now, I just, oh, I, I don't know where it went, but I had to put the box in because I wasn't thrilled with it. It was just, like, dragging on my lips, and I felt like I was just putting, like, a glue stick on my lips. So that one I don't like. Oh, here's the other one. This is, like, the yellowy one. So I don't know if you can see at the bottom of here what's left. Um, and then this one is the Nourish Shampoo, whereas... By the way, this is my office where I work, you guys. This isn't like where I normally film, but I have to use my computer, so I set it up in here. And then this is the um, Recover one. So there's Nourish and Recover. And we think that this one smells a little bit better. They both smell good, but me and Danielle, that's our preference. All right, let's see. Get down here. Oh, okay, this, you guys, Vitamin C and E Serum. Um, this is a kind of like a knockoff for the SkinCeuticals. Um, but you know what? This is like... 36 or 37 dollars instead of like a hundred dollars and I did like a little research and this now is so close to that one it's just not worth the extra money so now I'm buying this is by um, cosmetic skin solutions and I'm actually using one now by um, the complete skincare people have one so I've been buying that um, but you know it's the same it's kind of like drunk elephant like that kind of uh, um, c &E serum so use that every morning or a version of that. Oh, speaking of drunk elephant, here's the drunk elephant one. Um, this is really nice too, but again, this is like $80. Well, so they can get 20% off a lot of times when Durham Store has those little coupons and stuff. Do you guys use this vitamin C serum or anything? Do you have one in particular you like? Um, I'm just using another one up right now that I already had, but um, everyone seems to love drunk elephant a lot. Oh. This is Nioxin Diamax, and this is a thickening uh, extra fusion treatment, and I kind of haven't used this in a few months, but I was really good for a couple of years about putting this on every morning, and it makes your your um, hair thicker, and well, supposedly, and I really feel like I got a little bit more lift to my hair, so I still have one. I should, well, it's like halfway empty, the one I have upstairs. Um, this one's empty, empty. I should start using it again, because I thought this really made a difference, and I don't think it was too terribly expensive, because this lasts you like five months, so you just, I just would do a squirt, 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 and the squirts are tiny, and then I would just kind of do this. Oh, you use the serums from Timeless? Yeah, yeah. Angie and Hot and Flashy had a good video on those too. That's how come I finally made the jump to try something different than the um, the SkinCeuticals one that I was paying so much money for. Yeah. Oh, cheaper than um, than the uh, the Timeless. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm I was like, yeah. Oh, OGX. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah, but this, this I think really, really works because Nioxin has the whole line for hair loss. Um, my husband went through a thing. He'd been really sick and then a bunch of his hair started falling out. And one of a different friend who's a hairstylist, she got him like the Nioxin shampoo and conditioner, started using it. And it really seemed to help make his hair come back. Not like he lost a 10, but you know what I mean? When it just starts kind of falling out. So I like this stuff a lot. All right, let's try to find it. Oh, okay. You guys, do you remember this is Your Minerals Sweden? Did you get this in your, um, oh, Drunk Elephant. Yeah, I love Drunk Elephant. I agree. I wish it was cheaper. But the one from Complete Skin Care, um, I don't know, I guess I should call them and ask them how theirs compares. The ladies there are really nice. I'll call and find out. Um, OGX is a, uh, a line of hair care products. And um, they have shampoo, conditioner, all kinds of stuff like that. They, um, they've been at a couple Gen Beauties. Their drugstore, I believe you can find OGX at Target. Jen, correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, this powder I absolutely loved. Um, this is totally empty. I like took this plastic thing out to get the last bits of it. I loved this. And I mean, I think this compares to Laura Mercier one. It's super light, but it really sets your makeup well. I love this. This is actually something I might, um, I might repurchase because I liked it that much. I really like this. It's not really cheap though, but I think it's around the price of Laura Mercier's. Uh, let's see. Dermaquest C Infusion Serum. I got this in my Beauty DNA, which is a subscription box that I was getting for, well, I just finally canceled it. Oh, because they're actually revising that whole subscription. It was just starting to not be great what I was getting, so I just cut it off actually a couple weeks ago. Um, but this one uh, was nice, but I think 
I don't know, I didn't notice any big difference either way, so whatever on this one. And it is DermaQuest C Infusion Serum. Um, oh, the Laura Mercier powder dries you up. You know, I have dry skin, so I use a light hand with it, but I do find I can use it, you know, under my eyes pretty, you know, decently uh, to set concealer. But yes, if I get too much, then I just, you know, I feel like it's a little bit dry in the Laura Mercier one. But if I use a light hand, it's just perfection. I went back to buying that one again. Let's see. Let's just get through some of this hair stuff really quickly. This is a really nice mask by Oblia Fika. Oop, I have hair on it. Oop, yuck, sorry. Um, Seaberry hair mask. Like this one, it's used in conjunction with their serum and their shampoo and conditioner. I like it as a system. And by itself, it's fine, but I notice my hair gets really shiny when I use this with all the products in that line. We'll just rip through here all my hairspray. <laughs> This is my favorite ever. It's the Kenra Volume 25. Um, and I love this because like, I have it in now and like it makes my hair stay, but I can still like touch it. You can spray it on like crazy and it'll become like cardboard head if you want. But um, another thing I do with this is sometimes my bangs don't behave. So I'll just spray a little on my fingers and I'll do this like to get this to kind of stay smooth or here or whatever. So just you know, I don't know if you know that, or spray it on your whole hand, and then if you have a lot of flyaways, I do this. Um, so, a little hint in case you have that issue ever. <laughs> All right, let's see here. What have we got? Let's try to dig down. Okay, ooh, mascara. Pure fully charged mascara. This is probably the only mascara I like about as much as um, the Better Than Sex. It has a different, um, oops, a little bit of a different. Um, bristle setup than better than sex. It's not as curved in, but this stuff piles it on. I mean, this this stuff, if you want thick, but you have to work with it because it is so thick, but I love this stuff. Um, I have not tried the Cover SX FX setting powder at all. Yeah, I, I'd like to try more of their, their items. What I want to try is that, uh, is, what is it, Scandinavia? Has anyone tried that setting spray? I heard that's really amazing. I keep hearing about it. This is Danielle's favorite, favorite uh, conditioner. It's it's a 10. It's got the keratin in it. And so once a week or so, it's really nice to have something with keratin for your hair. Um, so we like this one a lot. Oh, thank you so much. Thanks. I think I used the Moroccan oil moisturizing this morning. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, let's see here. Oh, this. Oh, I really like this. This is a NYX um, butter lipstick. And let's see, there's a tiny bit left of this color. It is... Um, pops explosive and I really love their lip um, glosses their lip sticks these are awesome really like these and they're so cheap all right let's see what else we got here I'm trying to dig more to the bottom ah, okay oh got some stuff all right this is my is this is my tart tart liner um, this one I didn't like it so much because it's it's not the brush tip it's the um, the kind of felt tip and I mean it was fine but I just like the brush a lot better the Jessie's girl I liked way better than this and more mascara see powder products like my eyeshadows I just I don't get through those I've got too many of them if you haven't tried hello lashes um, I kind of like this brush because it's got the ball on the end um, to get my inner but I don't like the rest of this brush. It's like too straight. I don't know. And then it, I, if I hit underneath it too close to my eye, I end up with a weird line. Um, let me see which tart liner it is. Whoa. That was the Tarte Precision Long Wear and Lights Camera Lashes. Hmm. I don't know why it says that. Lashes on here. Yes, it says Precision Long Wear Eyeliner. And it's you know, just in black, and I don't know what I think this came with something. It must have because I don't. I would never have purchased this because it wasn't a brush end on it, just because of my personal preference. Yeah. So Jen, yeah, I don't. I don't recommend this. Jessie's Girl is so much better. I just don't even like this. Um, oh, Pacifica coconut wipes. Um, I thought they smelled a little bit weird, but um, they worked. Let's see. Then oh. This is the Bonacure. Um, I did a video on this. This is the, um, let's see if I've got the shampoo in here. Oh, here we go. So there's a shampoo, there's a toner. Oh, you have that shade in NYX? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, and basically it's supposed to be for aging hair, which I have, I turned 50 in a few months. And um, 
I, I like it, but you can't comb through your hair even after you put the toner on. But I love this mousse. This mousse, regardless of what you wash your hair with, is awesome. And I mean, I really do feel like that shampoo and conditioner gave my hair really great volume, but I had to do it when I could air dry my hair and then brush through it because it just it was just too tangly. I couldn't get through it. Um, but this mousse is amazing. Um, really gives tons of volume. Really gives lots of volume. All right. Oh, here's one of my Retin-A's secret weapon, you guys, anti-aging. This is like my favorite thing in the world, but this is the um, 0.05%. Um, so I use this seriously every night. I used to stop a week before an eyebrow wax, but now I'm plucking. I'm not waxing anymore. Um, so I use this pretty much every night unless I've traveled and I forgot it or something. Um, but And then I, I work it down my neck too. So I, I've been using you guys this since Grant, before Grant was born. I didn't use it when I was pregnant, of course, with either kid. But So he's 21, so I've been using this for like 22 years, and I think it really helps. Alrighty, let's see. Oh, okay. This was the Doucet mascara. And at first I loved it because it gave a lot of buildup like the uh, Pure. But I feel like um, this one just ended up being too dried out and clumpy too fast within a matter of weeks. But I liked it in the beginning a lot. Oh, good, Shannon. I'm glad you started using it. Yeah, it takes a little while. Are you sensitive to it? I never had the drying and the, the scaling and the turning red that some people get, um, but uh, I just use it at night, and then I put moisturizer on top, so um, I think, and then if you put your serum under it, a, at a med spa once, somebody told me that um, I won, it was really cool, I won a basket and uh, IPL intense pulse light treatment years ago for a place here in Walnut Creek at a wine walk. And the person there, when I was getting my IPL treatment, she said that Retin-A pushes everything in further. So that's why I was put a serum or something. I won't push it in further. Then I put my Retin-A, then I put you know, moisturizers and oils and all that on top. Oh, you're peeling in red? Yeah, okay. So, you know, just, you will eventually build up a tolerance to it. Um, so I like, when I started, I tried three days a week, then I went to four days a week. And, um, yeah, Lisa, you didn't either. Yeah, I guess we have tough skin. <laughs> I don't know. Some people are more sensitive, but you know, you have to wear sunscreen with that, right? Shannon, I mean, like make sure you wear your sunscreen cause it'll make you more light sensitive. I mean, they're sun sensitive. I've never gotten burnt where I've noticed it, but I'm really pretty good about wearing sunscreen all the time. So, Hey Cheryl, glad you're here. Thanks for joining. This is a shampoo that goes with that hair mask. I was talking about the Oblifica sea berry shampoo where I like the whole line. These are from Paula's Choice, but you've never tried an actual. Yes, okay, so the one that I just showed you guys, this is prescription. Well, unless you're in Mexico, you can buy it without a prescription. But really, the first time, go to your doctor because you wanna make sure that you don't have anything weird that would interact with it and you don't use it when you're pregnant. And so go to a doctor, they'll give you a prescription. You can go to Costco, which I found is the cheapest place to get it. And then they'll start you out. I believe there's also .02 that you can start on. Um, <laughs> Shannon, you're so funny. You're in Oregon? We're in Oregon. We have a rental actually in Newport, Oregon. And my daughter has applied to Oregon State, which is a beautiful school. Um, but um, anyway, back to this. But then once you got it going and everything's cool, if you go to Mexico or something, you can get this for like like 20 bucks in Mexico. I think at Costco it's going to be like 60 or 80 or something. You're going to be at your doctor for Retin-A? Huh? Oh, yeah. This stuff you is really... Okay, my husband... I seriously got him to use this and one of his friends said something. He goes, God, you look really rusted or like better or something. A guy noticed it on a guy. I thought it took five years off of Steve within like six weeks. There was a difference to um, like kind of lines. I mean, obviously deep, deep, you know, crow's feet and stuff. Those aren't going to go away. Um, and then like age spots and stuff. Like, well, you probably can't tell now because I've got makeup on. Um, but age spots, it really helps. And I'm running it down my neck. Oh, McMinnville. Oh, you know, my husband stayed at the McMinnville like inn or something. So it was this crazy, amazing hotel with tons of character and charm. That's awesome. Very cool. Um, but this stuff, this with the vitamin C and E for Rulik are my two things that if I had to give up everything, that and moi those three things in moisturizer, those would be the things I would keep if I were on a desert island, seriously. Um, let's see. Oh, and speaking of sunscreen, this is my favorite. Um, this is the, uh, um, La Roche-Posay Anthelios Mineral 
and this comes in tinted or untinted, get tinted, you guys, then you won't have any white casts. So it's kind of like a little bit foundation-y, and it's, well, there's none left. This is great if you're gonna go work out or something or go out in the sun, because it acts, you know, a little smoothing, so you don't have to put on makeup, but you look a little better, and you've got sunscreen. Um, you're getting bad age spots. Yeah, you know what? I, I get them on my hands. Now, I have to tell you guys, the IPL or photo facials work miracles on that. I actually have a video, I have to like, just do an intro and an ending to it. But I had a series of three photo facials and um, you can just see my my spots and stuff go away. Plus it produces collagen in your skin and that really will make a difference later. Um, so I've got one on that, but I've, I've had it done to my hands before and the spots that you see that I have, they actually went away. Now, unfortunately it does come back. So you do have to maintain like every year or two and do it again, but I haven't had budget to do my hands lately. So I haven't done that. Let's see. Um, you know, you could just go to a regular doctor. Next time you're a regular doctor, just say, I need some Retin-A for my fine lines and, and wrinkles or spots. Although if you have acne, then your insurance will cover it for acne. But regular doctor, any doctor can prescribe it for you. Um, your daughter is getting mail from a college in McMinnville. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that there was a college there. That's cool. I only know about Oregon State, U of O, University of Southern Oregon. And then there's one further north. I forgot. Um, your regular doctor prescribed it. Insurance doesn't cover it, but there are good coupons on RX, so it doesn't cost $200. Yeah, and Costco, I don't know if you have a Costco near you, but Costco was really the least expensive that I found to buy it too. But seriously, what I usually do when I'm running out now is I'll on Facebook put a thing, anyone going to Mexico soon? Because you can buy it at like the Walmart there. Well, Latisse is the best at the Walmart there at their pharmacy or any of those little pharmacies that they have there that are real pharmacies. You can just go in and tell them what you want and um, they'll sell it to you for like 20 bucks of Linfield. Huh. Yeah, photo facials are pricey, but look on Groupon. Sometimes there are good, good coupons on Groupon. I've gotten a photo facial before for $130, which I know isn't nothing, but better than when they're trying to charge you like $400 for them. So if you shop around. Oh, nothing near you, darn. Um, so the, the photo facials, okay, the way that I did them, so that one that I won the first time, um, I did it, the stuff came off, it was amazing. I was like, wow, that was probably like God, 10, 11 years ago. And then I didn't do it again until I noticed it coming back a few years later, like a couple years later. I never did the series. They always said, do a series of three in three months. I was like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna have that much money to throw at it. So I never did the series. Um, so then I, every couple of years I'd have one. Every couple of years I'd have one. And um, now I finally bit the bullet. They had a really good special at uh, Christmas time or I don't know, before the holidays sometime. And so that's when I bought the series of three. And I think that it'll last me, my hands, when I did my hands, it lasted like three or four years till they came back. So, you know, it's about time. Let's see. You can get your insurance. Yeah, if if you have um, acne, my uh, one of our cousins, she wanted it for acne because she was getting like, you know, she had her kids and now she's getting close to 40 or something. And she was having acne. And so she went to the doctor and it cost her $5 for her prescription for her Retin-A because she has the acne. So if you have a kid with acne, send them in for it. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, they do not declare it when you come back from Mexico. They'll take it from you. Oh, I never had a problem with that. I was right in. Yeah, you know, I bought, you know, three tubes of this or whatever because I think they only care with how much money of stuff you're bringing back in from Mexico. Um, a photo facial. Okay, so photo facial or IPL, which is intense pulse light, they're just different kinds of lasers basically. So what happens is, you'll see this in my video that I put out, they put like a goo, kind of like a, um, yeah, there you go, Shannon. Um, they they put like a goo of, um, like kind of like ultrasound jelly on your face. They cover your eyes with little things and then they use this machine and they do different passes on your skin. And it really just kind of feels like, kind of like a um, rubber band snapping on your face. So it's not super painful it starts to feel a little bit warm and they will ask you, is this too much or what? And I'm always like, crank it up, I can take it. Cause it only, you know, zaps for a second. And they go all over your face and then they'll go like, um, with a different one kind of in different areas, depending on the skin. And then it's kind of funny when you do your, around your mouth, you cover your teeth with your tongue, they go, so they zap around there. And, um, you know, it, it really doesn't take very long. Um, and if they do your hands, they put the goo on your hands and they zap your hands with the thing. And it's, it's just like a little handheld device thing, but it's hooked up to this 
big laser and they have like different lenses and stuff on it so I, I have to edit that video and then you guys can totally see it they wouldn't let me video it really but I've got some pictures of me laying there with the stuff on my face and then like before and aftering and all that stuff but the funny thing was when I got that first one that I won when I didn't really even know exactly what I was getting I was like super excited because those age spots that had bugged me forever had gotten I mean what happens is don't do this right before an event wait a week or so because it'll turn totally totally dark wherever you know you have the age spots like coffee ground looking and then over a few days it kind of sloughs off and just comes off on its own but what I noticed was a month later everyone's saying you look so rested you look so good your skin looks great and all that kind of it's damaging underneath your skin that produces the collagen that gets your skin plumper looking and stuff so it's kind of amazing so sometimes it's worth it you know to do these things if if you have budget for it um, because it made a huge difference so Shannon bought a hard plastic mask that has lights built in and you use a gel and then wear the mask and pick what color light you want oh my gosh you have to try that I want to know what that is that sounds really cool huh so same concept right yeah same concept there's all that light therapy there's all those different things that you can do so um, that's really cool that you got a home one very neat I just figured I'd never have time to you know do that although I work from home I could sit here working and like stick the mask on my face <laughs> that'd be cool I'm dying to hear how that goes um this is Estee Lauder perfectly clean splash away foaming cleanser um my husband actually uses this but I've thrown this in because I just wanted to make sure people know you know cut the end off of whatever you use because there's so much more in there like after he got to this we cut it off I think he got another week and a half of use out of this because um, there's so much at the bottom with these and then sometimes I'll cut them down further too to get more so if it's RX meds I'll not let you bring it back but take it out of the box put it in your purse oh wow interesting that's good to know um, coming back from Cabo or whatever flying in, I've never had an issue with that but that's really good to know because if you're driving in maybe it's a different deal maybe they care more but yeah I was come back with like Latisse and um, my retin-a so oh okay this is the oh another one of these wow I just like I have like a colony of these kind of growing here <laughs> this big pile behind me uh, let's see here what else have we got um this is shape it what was this oh, I think this was just brow gel uh, let's see yeah this is who is this by oh this is European wax center this is ancient I don't even I must have just found this at the bottom of a drawer and thrown it in I used to go to European wax center a long time ago and I tried their brow gel and it was nice and it was fine it was clear and it worked so yeah and then you know what I use this for a lot of times not this but clear brow gels in general flyaways little flyaways these are always good for that if you haven't tried that all right I, this is like a lot of stuff huh we might have to do a part two to this I don't want to keep you guys all day um, oh this is oh maxi lash volumizing mascara I thought this was horrible this was by do say the red one was good this black one I thought was awful but you guys I've got tiny blonde lashes um, this is you know I, I need something that really builds it the brush was nice and everything but this just did not work for me oh I'm dropping stuff that's pretty funny okay let's see let's look at my other little bag oh this is just the mate to that biolage shampoo this is the conditioner Let's see if there's anything more interesting in here. Oh, another sponge gel sponge. Oh, rock and oil mousse. This stuff, you guys, is really great, but it's too expensive. This is my special occasion mousse. I don't use this every day because it's stupid expensive. Um, but yeah, you know what, you guys? I think we've gotten through like a lot. Oh, here, let me just do this one just to get it out because it's so giant. I threw this in just because it's supposed to impact your hair and your nails. This is Vital Proteins Marine Collagen. I got this at Generation Beauty Gen. I think you got one too. Um, this stuff, I have to tell you, after about a week, I swear, I have fake nails right now, but that was before I had them. My nails were harder and not peeling like they normally do. My nails are awful. So um, this stuff is really, really good stuff. Highly recommend it. I actually need my husband to start using this because he's been seeing his hair texture is changing. So um, I gotta get him to try to use that. Um, so, oh, my hair's always shiny. Do I use oils? Um, yes, I do. Um, I use Moroccan oil and I also have marula oil um, and I put that on when I um, you know when my hair is wet oh and Tamara thank you so much for saying that that's very sweet of you make my day <laughs> 
I started my YouTube channel. I thought there weren't enough people over 40 out there. Um, but yeah, so I, okay, so when I wash my hair, um, once I've kind of dried it, well, not dried it, let it tell, kind of, I don't tell dry it. Okay. I stopped putting my hair in a towel and, um, you know, wrapping it up like that because I was having breakage. I was like a little punk rocker. I always have little pieces here. So now when I get out, I will tip my hair over. I will gently squeeze it with a towel. And then when I get out, I will use a paper towel and I'll like just do this and I'll squeeze it with a paper towel and try to get it so it's not so drippy. I try to just let it air dry at that point. So what I do is I'll just take a little Moroccan oil, Marula oil, whatever, and then I'll do like the ponytail section with that. And then what's left on my hands, I wipe onto my bangs and then I try to let it air dry or air dry like 90%. And then I'll go in with my products and, um, you know, actually style it and finish with a blow dryer when it's just like 90%. Now, life doesn't always work like that. Sometimes you have to blow dry it. And some days I do nothing after that and I'll just let it be or put it in a ponytail. But like now what I did is I put mousse, I just blow dried my bangs a little bit and then um, I hairsprayed it and then I took some dry shampoo because for me, I mean, my hair is so straight. I, this is with dry shampoo for volume in it right now, you guys. And this is like it. And then I use, I don't think I have one in here, but Moroccan oil has a shine spray. That might be worth the money, you guys. Uh, Kenra has a nice one, though, too, that I think is a less pricey. And then I lightly, from far away, will do like three sprays of the shine spray. And that will make my hair look really shiny um, as the final thing that I do. And it doesn't make your hair oily or anything. That's why I like the Moroccan oil one. And it lasts a long time. So the bottle, I don't remember what it costs exactly, but it does last me like months and months and months because you only need like boop boop and then like let it fall on your head <laughs> so yeah and Kenra's is really good I don't think Kenra made mine feel greasy or anything weird either I think there was one brand God, I don't know it was years ago I bought it in so long but that would that would be the only downfall but then you can return it if you don't like it so just always keep your receipts right yeah so you know what, you guys maybe we will save the rest of this for another time and if you like this I'll do it again and we can talk about other stuff because I thought it would be fun to kind of start trying to to uh, talk to you guys sometimes and not just always have to wait to edit a video and, and all that. So anybody have fun plans this weekend? I'm working on my tax stuff. Yay. <laughs> and house cleaning kind of anything fun. And poor Jen, I hope you feel better. And thank you again for while you were sick, helping me get this setup going. Jen was an angel. Thank you, Jen. It means a lot for you, Miss Pro doing it forever. <laughs> So thank you guys. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your weekend. And um, thanks for being here for my first one. So excited. And um, I'll try to get another video out this week. I know I've been slow, but let me just tell you why real quickly. Danielle had her wisdom teeth out, turned into dry socket, launched her to migraines. I was, I've been at two doctors a day, it seems like, lately between the neurologist for her head, her pediatrician, the back the oral surgeon yesterday. And then work's been a little busy and tax stuff. We had an overnight house guest last night. So, you know, just kind of stuff. So anyway all right you guys hope to do this again soon yeah jen feel better Mwah. bye now i gotta figure out how to turn this on i said bye but this might take me a minute to actually turn this off because i have to go into this thing and actually do it so hopefully this will do it let's see